Saturday. So uh, it rained earlier this morning, but it looks like it's clearing up. You know, I'm supposed to make a left over here. Shoot. But anyways, uh, just picked up my package. Uh, the last two items that was missing in the uh, the whole car situation. Uh, it's funny because uh, the past couple of days, UPS stopped by the house asking for a package that that I needed to ship out, which I didn't I, I didn't you know request it. So I finally met the guy, the UPS person. He said that um, I looked at the ticket that he had. It's supposed to go back to JHP, which is the company that I use to buy parts from. So I'm like, um, I'm not sending any parts back. Um, you guys have, you guys had it wrong, or whatever. So what I did is uh, I called JHP, the shipping company, or the shipping department, and say, hey, um, you know, UPS came here. They're talking about they need the packages back or whatever, whatever. So the guy said, oh, they, prob they probably probably listed as a damaged item, so they wanted to put the stuff back. So I'm like, well, do you expect me to send all these parts back and so forth or whatever? So I said, you guys need to, need to talk to um, somebody because I'm not shipping these parts back, you know. It took forever to get these parts and now I just received the last two parts that I was missing and all this other junk. So. Later on, he called me and said that um, he just wanted me to take a picture of the box that came with and the items that was there. So I did that, I sent it to him. So hopefully that's taken care of. Um, it's just such a hassle. I've, I've never dealt with um, with this before, you know, especially through them. I mean, they're pretty good at stuff, but I guess stuff happens. So uh, right now we're at the library. Uh, about to head in there right now. I have to drop my family off here because I have to go to the bank. But I'm on the way to the library right now. Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, got the package here, got the missing part, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. So these are, should be the the missing retainers and the uh, the valve guides. Yep. So here's the retainers that I was missing. One, Honda retainers are to be used with a seven degree keeper. Previous to 2004, without the top arrow marks. What? So, tanners, valve guides, um, they were like um, bullet casings. <laughs> but these are the valve guides that I'm missing. Eight, eight, sixteen. Which is sixteen here. Awesome. So put them in the there, and I did receive the another package, which is 
um, the stoppers for the valves should be yeah so these are the valve seals I guess there's an intake and an exhaust intake exhaust valve seals as you can see there and these are the valve keepers just little clips all the brand here is just all um, super tech super tech brand try to keep them all the same good so I don't know if I should even keep these boxes they might say something about the return I don't know if But anyways, that's it. Um, finally got the parts that I needed. So um, just a matter of getting started.